How are kangaroos born? Well, that wasn't the question you asked me earlier. Okay, do kangaroos lay eggs? <laughs> uh, no. No? No. Okay. They're mammals. They're mammals. Hmm. So only chicken lay eggs? Uh, not only chickens, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we eat eggs? Why do we eat eggs? Yeah. Very good question. Sigmund Freud's nephew was mm -hmm. an amazing advertiser because he learned from his uncle mm -hmm. on how to you know, you, use the uh, psychology of people and what mm -hmm. they think. He was amazing in, in advertising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and a company approached him that mm -hmm. was that needed to sell more like pork products. So he went around. He actually they, for the advertising company they had a scientist that worked for him, a doctor. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said that. Well, he actually basically asked the doctor said, um, "Do you believe that Americans are eating enough food in the, for breakfast, or is it too light, or do you think it needs to be heavier?" And of course. The doctor said, "Yeah, they need to be eating a lot more. That you know, because back then they were only just having a little bit of toast. Doctors weren't taught mm. much about nutrition back then, especially mm. now they are a lot better. Mm. But with the limited knowledge that the doctor had, of course he's going to say, yeah, they need to eat more.' So mm. Sigmund Freud's nephew, I forget his name, he said, um, mm. "Well, what if they ate eggs and bacon? Because he wanted yeah. to advertise the." help the company out to sell more pork products. So that that was initiative because for advertising? Yes. Not because people were really deprived of nutrition and protein no. for breakfast? <laughs> no, no nutrition or dietitian actually said anything. So it was just him trying mm -hmm. to figure out a way to make more money for the company that, for the pork company. Okay. So they came up with eggs and bacon for breakfast and he wrote a letter to 5,000 doctors 5,000? yeah uh, asking him the same question mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that people are eating enough food for breakfast? Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask that question to anyone I mean if I asked that to you wouldn't you say no I don't think so or even if I yeah. said do you think people are eating healthy for breakfast? no yeah <laughs> It's kind of funny, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, all the doctors came back saying, yeah, no, they need to eat more. Mm -hmm. And they were sort of inserted the whole eggs and bacon thing. So that's how we started having eggs and bacons for breakfast. Correct. So if you don't have eggs and bacons for breakfast, what else would you have? Uh, anything you, else but that. <laughs> do you really need protein for breakfast then? Well, a little bit of protein is fine, but some people, if you, it depends on, on how big of a meal you had. Mm. If you ate a big meal the night before, okay. your body can do fine okay. if you're going to work out or something. But then you wouldn't eat a big breakfast before the workout. You'd be eating it after the workout. Okay. So let's say if we don't have eggs for breakfast, what would you have That is a that will still give you the nutrition you need to start off the day? And do you actually need breakfast? Depends. Depends on the person. Really? It really depends on many different factors, but for the most part, yeah, it's good to have something. Um, mm -hmm. Usually fruit that will help get you going. Mm -hmm. You can also get, um, like even smoothies are amazing for mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> oats. Mm -hmm. What else do you have right now? Berries? I Berries have, are um... Plant-based protein smoothies. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Of like mixed veggies, fruit smoothie. Well, then you can also do like fasting. A lot of people mm -hmm. will fast. Yeah. And they won't eat until, so they eat like at seven o'clock at night, and mm -hmm. then they won't have breakfast until ten. Okay. So that can help them with their health as okay. well, or if they have certain health goals, or like if it's a gym guy that wants mm -hmm. to see those abs he might be doing something like that okay so so if eggs then the question i have is is eggs really the best source of protein then it's a good source but it's not like the only source um if you read there's a great book called alkalize or die mm. and they talk about you know having acidity in the yolk yeah but not the, the egg whites a little bit better obviously mm. and everyone kind of knows that mm. <clears throat> but if you have if you have eggs like two or three times a week, that's that's fine. If you're having them every day, that's supposedly can be potentially bad mm -hmm. with the cholesterol levels and okay. things like that. 
And then, but then, like, because I've been doing some study, not surprisingly. Um, how about if you look at eggs from sustainability or animal rights point of view, should we be having mm. eggs then? Well, then it comes down to the person and their individual thought. Mm. Uh, but for sustainability, if uh, I mean, a lot of chickens just lay eggs, mm. and it's a great way to, you know, eat something that is sustainable because they keep laying the eggs. Mm. Um, but like I said, in moderation too. But in also, moderation. chicken eggs are not always the greatest. There's other eggs that are really good. Like what are the eggs? Duck oh. eggs and quail eggs are. How do you buy them? Way better in protein and have, have better uh, vitamins and minerals then how do you buy them yeah with money <laughs> no but where like who sells them duck eggs and quail eggs you can't get them at grocery the stores duck can store. you the duck store yeah <laughs> duck duck goose duck <laughs> uh yeah so you can get them at like other farmers markets oh uh, you can get them at different like uh what do you call it like in sydney there's a big store there Mm, that you can okay. buy stuff. Do you know what it is? No. The market, the market. Sydney market, isn't it? The Sydney it? market, okay. You can get them there. You can get them from All like right. Asian markets, mm. will have them. All right. Uh, so, quail eggs are quite small. You have to eat a lot of them, but. Okay. <laughs> so, so is eggs considered a healthy ingredient then? Like if I'm saying I'm going healthy, I'm going plant based, I'm going vegan, I'm going vegetarian, mm. is eggs a healthy part of the diet well, if you're vegan you wouldn't be yeah eating, vegan right? you're not but then for like plant-based let's say i'm saying i'm going plant-based i'm going healthy should i have eggs or not um depends it's up to you up to me and up to you what do you there. mean up to me yeah it's up to you they're a good source they have you know do the research check it out mm -hmm. see if it's right for you if you feel good if yeah. you're happy with it that's your decision mm -hmm. okay um I myself, I, I would probably have eggs once in a while in mm. moderation. Sometimes I won't have eggs for mm. six months to a year. Okay. Um, it just depends. So okay. I think I think everyone should eat based on what they feel mm. is right for them. Okay. And obviously, egg in moderation is okay. Mm. Lots of eggs. Like if you're eating a casserole and you put 24 eggs in it with all kinds of okay. bacon ham and mm. cheese and stuff like that yeah that's bad so it's like really finding that balance of how often you have it what do you have it with yeah like, like i love okay. having a salad mm. i do like a seaweed salad and mm. i'll put an egg in there okay once in a while when i feel like i want that little bit of mm. um extra but to me i kind of i go on how what my body wants okay so there's uh, kinesiology mm. things little little tests that you can do to see if your body really is craving um, like animal protein for example if your oh. body isn't maybe what's you the don't difference need it. between animal protein and plant-based protein um, just depends on the, the plant that's a big question <laughs> for next time that's a huge question for next time <laughs> but there are uh, amino acids mm. uh, it's nine essential amino acids that everybody okay. needs yeah and if you don't have them you can get nutrition um, deficiency okay but there are plants that do have mm. all nine amino acids okay like chia seeds like chia seeds yes mm. very good okay you're learning i <laughs> am learning <laughs>Yes, okay. another good thing you can mm. have is yeah. we're surrounded by it and it's 100% plant-based. Yeah, what is it? It's kangaroo poo. Where is it? It's all over on us. Is it on your feet? Um, 100% plant-based poo? <laughs> Just kidding, do not eat the poo. You will get sick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they're over there. Oh. Ton of them. That's what I was trying to get in the picture, but I couldn't get it in. Yeah, too far away. Too That's far away. Yeah. Trying to direct you over here. Yeah. So cute.